Hi, this is Kevin from Jet Shades, and I want to share with you that I just came back from a major air show where we had the booth set up and it was all going busy, busy. And this gentleman came up to me and said, oh, wow, Jet Shades, I didn't know about this. What do you do? He said, oh, you just pop them in the window. They block the heat in the sun. He goes, oh, I wish I'd seen these before. Because this morning, I just had my whole plane done by this guy and, and he took care of it. Look, I'll show you. And he shows me his plane. And I look again and all his windows were blacked out. It looked like a limo. And in his cockpit window, the top like seven or eight inches were covered and I looked at it. And unfortunately, I had to look at the gentleman and say, wow, it looks really nice. But unfortunately, your plane is no longer airworthy. Yeah, you should have seen his face. Now, why did I tell him that? Well, first of all, he had tinted the top six inches of a cockpit window dark. Um, and of course, the FAA regulations say you can't tint window in the cockpit to block more than 30% um, of light. He also had his rear windows all tinted um, with film. And of course, that would require uh, an STC, which I asked if he had one. And he said, uh, what? <laughs> so getting a supplementary type certificate means it's been tested and it's been qualified. And of course it hadn't, they just put some film on it. So when I asked him about those things, he came back to me and said, oh, wait a minute. I asked the guy who put these things on and he said I was fine because he wasn't restricting my vision. I could still see out the cockpit windows. I said, well, the FAA doesn't say you can tint the top six part of your windows. It says you cannot tint any part of a cockpit window. He also said, well, they told me it was okay because it was removable. Well, re anything in an airplane is removable if you have a plasma cutting torch. <laughs> so it really wasn't truly removable in the context of what loose equipment means. Loose equipment means I'm bringing an iPad on board and I use it and then I carry it off board when I finish. I don't install it with tools and I, um, I don't attach it to anything uh, mechanically uh, or with fasteners or tools to the aircraft. And so this interpretation certainly wouldn't stand up to loose equipment. And finally he said, but the guy told me these films are safe. <laughs> the fine print says the adhesive that they use is safe for acrylic. That doesn't mean it's safe for aircraft use. See, aircraft windows, they expand, they shrink, they expand and shrink, they go through cycles, and especially if you're pressurized, they, they're expanding and shrinking all the time. And we just slapped a coating of film and adhesive on there that says, go ahead, try to expand. I won't let you, I won't let you. And that builds up internal stresses, internal stresses, and then you walk out and one day you find a nice crack in your window. Now, if you want to see that crack happen really fast, all you do is, you know, put a, one of those static cleans on or something else that, you know, sticks to the window and forget it. And then put a foil guard behind it and go out to launch, you come back, you have already generated a crack in your window because those foil guards heated up that static clean, embedded it into the surface of the aircraft window, and then it couldn't expand at all and you get a crack. Look, the bottom line is this, never, attach anything to your aircraft window, nothing. Even suction cups over time, you'll see that ring. That means it's distorted. Now back to that gentleman, I had to tell him, look, you're gonna get ram checked, you ain't gonna be able to fly. When you go to sell this plane, it's gonna fail pre-buy. Or who's ever gonna buy it's gonna say, I want all credit for all these windows, I want all new windows in it. So putting films on your window and sticking things to your window is definitely not a good thing to do. When we did Jet Shades, well, we went through the process. We wanted to do it right. We went to the FAA and said, this is what we're doing. We got a PMA, a parts a manufacturing uh, authorization to make our Jet Shades because we do not touch the aircraft window. They simply slide in, they slide out. And you can carry them on board, just like an iPad. Put them in your window, fly, pull them out, and then uh, take them off. So, just think about it before someone sells you a cheap way to try to block the heat and the uh, glare and the solar energy coming to your airplane. And, you know, I, I just want all the pilots out there to fly safe and not damage the aircraft and find a product that really works for them um, without causing them undue stress or worry about, oh my God, I had all my windows tinted and now I have to worry about ramp checks and I have to worry about airworthiness. So with that, I'll fly safe and um, yeah, enjoy the flights.